we don't want to impose any brand of democracy abroad. The best allies of the United States and England and the uh, Arab and Muslim worlds have been brutal dictatorships and still are. Uh, and so both Britain and the United States have a long history of supporting uh, extremist radical Islam as a barrier against secular nationalism, which is what they're really afraid of. It's a very good, good uh, study coming out on British policy, Mark Curtis's latest volume on British foreign policy. Uh, but the same is true of the United States. I mean, the, the most extreme radical Islamist state is Saudi Arabia. And it's, in fact, the center of uh, uh, cr um, creating the uh, a culture uh, of jihadism. It's not, it's not an accident that the 9-11 uh, bombers uh, mostly came from Saudi Arabia or that Osama bin Laden did. Uh, yeah, that's the culture that they've been uh, uh, distri distributing, the uh, madrasas in Pakistan and so on, with strong U.S. and Israel and uh, British support. Uh, Pakistan as well. Pakistan and you know Saudi Arabia became the state state centers of jihadi style terrorism, main allies, and there's a long record of this. You know, this is just a small part of it. In fact, U.S. and British support for Israel uh, comes largely from the fact that uh, Israel uh, uh, destroyed secular Arab nationalism and defended Saudi Arabia. That's just, that was the background for the 1967 war when uh, U.S. policy towards Israel shifted radically to its present form. Uh, and I, everyone knows that in the 1980s, uh, uh, the United States, Britain helped, uh, uh, tried to organize a, a radical, the most extreme radical Islamists it could find all over the world. Uh, to send them to Afghanistan and to train them, and not to liberate Afghanistan. That would have been a legitimate objective, or to, but to kill Russians. Mm -hmm. In fact, that was made explicit. CIA station chief in Pakistan who was running it said, look, we're not going to liberate Afghanistan. It's not our interest. We're going to kill Russians. Okay, that's what you want to do, yeah. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, Reagan and Thatcher were uh, uh, happily watching uh, uh, madrasas, Saudi Arabian funded madrasas spread over Pakistan, uh, creating the culture of jihadism funded by Saudi Arabia uh, uh, under the most brutal dictator Pakistan has ever had, therefore the greatest friend of uh, Thatcher and Reagan, Ziel Haq, uh, also watching him develop nuclear weapons and pretending they didn't know so that he could keep aiding him and so on. So uh, uh, terrorism is, uh, suppressing terrorism is just not a high priority of states. So it's easy to demonstrate this. Actually, the invasion of Iraq is another example. I mean, when the U.S. and Britain invaded Iraq, uh, they were aware I mean, that uh, it was very likely to um, increase terrorism. In fact, that was the analysis by the intelligence agencies, experts, and so on. And it happened. Uh, terrorism uh, increased by a factor of seven. Uh, in the year following the invasion, according to U.S. government data. Well, yeah, but it's just not a high priority. So terrorism is a real thing, and if you want to deal with it, there's a couple of ways of doing it. Uh, one way is to stop your own terrorism. That makes a big dent in it. Uh, uh, the other is to stop uh, supporting the sources that encourage it. Uh, another is to pay, just to do what the British finally did in Ireland, pay a little bit of attention to the grievances that lead people to give at least sympathy, sympathy or sometimes direct support for terrorism. And in those, and uh, the terrorists, of course, criminals, so find the criminals, uh, apprehend them, give them fair trials, and so on. Uh, that's the way to do it. Uh, none of this is being done. I mean, just take fair trials. I mean, there are people kidnapped, actually, they claim captured in all over the place, Afghanistan, wherever they are. And they're sent to, uh, we know where they're sent to. They're sent to Guantanamo, Abu Ghraib, Bagram, and so on, where they're uh, tortured uh, uh, you know, brutally. And that creates terrorists. In fact, the, you know, the people on the ground who work there, the interrogators and others, the intelligence people, they say that Abu Ghraib, Abu Ghraib and Guantanamo have probably created more terrorists than uh, 
than uh, Osama bin Laden ever did. Yeah, sure, that's the way to do it if you want. Uh, but uh, to say that they're trying to combat terrorism is just a joke.